Good afternoon, I'm your new pastor for today, I'm Chen Wei. I'm Hui Min. Welcome, Welcome to Cactus Headline. The highlights for today is, we'll talk about ICT definition, and why do businesses use ICT, ICT contribution in business, the disadvantages of ICT, and we'll talk about ICT in India and Singapore. And what is ICT? ICT refers to technology that provides access to information through telecommunication. It is similar to information technology, but focused primarily on communication technology. This includes the internet, wireless network, cell phones, and other communication mediums. ICT has provided society with new communication capabilities. For example, people can communicate in real time with others in different countries using technologies such as instant messaging and video conferencing. Social networking websites such as Facebook allow users from all over the world to remain in contact and communicate on a regular basis. Modern ICT have created a global village in which people can communicate with others across the world as if they were living next door. And for this reason, ICT is often studied in the context of how modern communication technology affects society. And in business, ICT is often categorized into two broad types of product. First is the traditional computer-based technology, which is things you can typically do on a personal computer or using computers at home or at work. And second is the digital communication technology. And next, why do businesses use ICD? There are two major reasons which are reducing cost and increased efficiency. Firstly, with cost reducing, this means either the price of product will be lowered, thus sales of product will increase and follow up by increase of revenue. And also, using ICD in businesses can reduce cost either in production or management, and with lower cost, it means greater profit to the company. And the second reason will be increased efficiency. Information is ubiquitous and it gives employees quicker access to information and it also helps in decision making fast and accurately. And my partner, women will further talk uh, about the news in a short while.
Okay, everybody, now I will continue to the next slide, which is how can ICT help in international business? Uh, there are four main functions of the ICT, including first one is the marketing, second one is the improving communication, third one is the production, and the last one is the stroke control. Okay, now let us look into the first part, which is the marketing. Okay, ICT plays as important roles in the marketing perspective. There are four parts of the marketing, including product, price, place, and promotions. For the first, which is the product, by implementing the ICT, direct mail has been produced as a cost-effective way of generating awareness and increase the sales of particular company. For the price, by implementing the ICT, we can collect price information about the competitors through the online survey. And for the place, a website which is uh, comparing to the international retail store, Retail store, retail store, using a website as the online store to develop new and cheaper way of reaching global customer by offering customer the opportunity of buying goods and service regardless of the place and time. Also, the GPS uh, enables the consumer to reduce their delivery time, useful when get lost and make delivery. And for the last one, which is a promotion. By, implemented, by implementing the ICT, we are able to promote digitally by using direct mail, online catalog, and also website. Now I will show you the example of the online store, which is the eBay, and the Amazon.com, which is the famous online store. And now I will present the next function of the ICT, which is the improving communication. Uh, it is means that ICT allow communication across the world more faster, easy, convenient, and cost saving. Then, video and for the first, which is the video and the teleconferencing, it allow the cross marketing contact the supplier and customer. And for the facts, it allow text, picture, and document to send immediately in a lower cost. And for the mobile phone, it is the most common student which allow the convenience verbal communication about each other. And now we'll look into the third function of the ICT, which is the production. The ICT can help in the first part, which is the design, where the CAD software allow the designer to create a detailed design of a product. It allow mistake to be detected before product goes to manufacturer. And now we look into the second function, which is the manufacturing. By using a CAM means that product can be made non-stop as they not tired. And so product, the quality of products is assured all the time. The company can also enter bigger profits since there are no labor costs by using a CAM system. And now we will look into uh, the next function of the ICT, which is the stock control. The stock control system can be used to ensure that the supply of product to sales point is guaranteed, which is known as the JIT stocking. And under the stock control, there are two tools they use for stock control. The first one is the electronic data interchange EDI. It involves the computer to computer exchange of invoice, order, inventory data in one location to a computer program in another location. There are some